name is Jim Silverman. I run the uh, Community and Regional uh, Studies program here at St. Catherine. Uh, and also, if you're interested in graduate school, I uh, run the uh, Community and Regional Leadership program. So hopefully I'll see some of you all uh, in class pretty soon. Uh, in addition to all that, I teach some of the research classes, and I'll probably see most of you in that class, right, Green? <laughs> Uh, it's my pleasure this morning. I understand you're going to be out in the community today. Is that right? Service project today? Good. You're going to learn a lot today. This uh, Springfield has a lot to offer you folks. And, and Springfield wants you all to come out and take advantage of everything that they have to offer. And it's my pleasure this morning to introduce the spokesman for Springfield, the mayor of Springfield, Debbie Wakefield. Uh, she has, she is from, she's a native of Washington County, graduated from St. Dominic in Springfield. Uh, she went to, uh, I almost hate to mention this, but she went to Campbellsville. And, uh, but she's here now. She has her, her bachelor and her master's degree from Campbellsville. She works in Lexington with the Farm Service Agency. And uh, I'll let her tell, tell you more about that. She's interested in sports. She's a UK fan. And, uh, oh, 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 I'm sorry. I misread it. She's a Louisville fan. <laughs> I really did that on purpose. I wanted to see what she would say. So. <laughs> uh, one thing that I found that she and I have in common that, that really uh, piqued my interest, uh, she is a 4 H'er and works with 4 H and has worked with 4 H. And uh, so it's uh, with great pleasure that I introduce a Louisville supporter, Debbie Wakefield, Mayor of Springfield. Thank you, Dr. Silliman, and thank you all for inviting me here. Now I will say, I don't recognize any faces right now, but by the end of your freshman year, hopefully I will, because I hope to see you downtown in some of our shops and some of our restaurants and around the community. And you will see me here on campus quite often because I want to be able to interact. I want to have a personal relationship with you. I want you to feel comfortable in calling me if you have any issues. Now, I do have a speech prepared and I'm going to go over it. Uh, as you all know and probably can tell, I'm not a public speaker. I was one of those students that shied away from public speaking and I wish I had when I was in 4-H. Uh, did more speeches, felt more comfortable, and I hope you all take the opportunity. If you have any public speaking classes, please take those. It can take you a long way, it, it really can. But thank you for inviting me, and indeed it is an honor to be down here to welcome you to this beautiful campus and to the city of Springfield. Um, when our residents uh, see new students walking downtown, Jogging downtown, we have a lot of runners around and we see you out, out on 150 jogging into town. It's just like a breath of fresh air. You hear a lot of our uh, community leaders, our residents say that they love to see the students. They love to visit with you all. Uh, they love, I'm Martina, I'm just seeing her there. <laughs> I do recognize the face now. They love to have the younger group coming into town and interacting with us. Uh, as a newcomer to St. Catharines, you may not have had the opportunity to visit Springfield. You will some today. We, some of you will be at the parks, the House of Hope, I think out at the uh, Recycling Center. Uh, but I encourage you to come downtown, to visit our downtown, to visit our park that's out on 555. We have a nice walking trail and there's other activities that are available for you out there. We have a beautiful reservoir that is that as you go into Springfield on 150, is to the right, right behind our new uh, fire station. You will see our new fire station as you go into town. A uh, lot of different type of fish, bluegill bass uh, that you can fish there. Uh, we also invite you to uh, tour our 1816 courthouse that actually has our Lincoln Legacy Museum there now. Uh, that is open, uh, I think, three days a week right now. Uh, a lot of artifacts in there. Actually, our uh, fiscal court still meets in the 1816 courthouse, and I think it's the oldest courthouse that's still open today. We also have our Field Sims Museum that is located in our opera house. And tomorrow, if you have a break from 12 to 1.30, Field Sims. Does anybody know Field Sims? Will you raise your hand? 
uh, their two young. Bill Sims was a quarterback with the New York Giants. He was actually born here in Springfield. His parents were from Springfield. And he went to St. Dominic until the second grade, and then he went on to Louisville. And I think he went to Southern High School, and then he's a graduate of Morehead State. But he did win the 20, he was in the 21st Super Bowl. Yes, he was the MVP of, uh, of that Super Bowl. So he will be here tomorrow, downtown Springfield from 12 to 1.30 at the Arbor House. So if you have a lunch break or you're in between classes, please come down and meet him. Uh, we have a lot of his memorabilia in the uh, museum, and we're so grateful and thankful that he was willing to come here. And then that afternoon, he's going to go to the high school and speak with the students. Uh, again, I just wanted to welcome you here. Uh, feel free to come to City Hall and to meet our staff there. We, had a, we have maps. We have a lot of information. It tells you about Springfield and our surrounding communities. Uh, we have Marion County, we have Nelson County, a lot of different things to do. Uh, most importantly, there are bags there that you can pick up on your way out. Hopefully my business card is in there. My cell phone number is on the card. If, if there is not a business card in there, I will get you one. If you ever need me for anything, please call my cell phone. Now, sometimes if I don't recognize the number, I'll let it go to voicemail, but if you need any help on anything, please give me a call. I'm here to help you. I'm here if you just need to talk about anything. Uh, I am here, and uh, thank you again for the invitation. Enjoy your day, and enjoy your year here, and I hope to be back in about a year to watch you graduate. So, <laughs> for some of you that are still around. So anyway, thanks again. Good luck to you, and enjoy your day. All right, we're at Greatest Storm, different parts of Springfield. Not literally, but we are going to storm pretty much all parts of Springfield in different ways today. So, we have awesome group leaders uh, that are going to be uh, watching over you to make sure you're safe and that you're enjoying your experience. Um, we have students that will be going to adopt a highway uh, that is going to be picking up uh, for a you pick up the highway, you adopt every mile that you are going to walk is going to, the funds that we raise will go towards the women's shelter in Barstown in Lebanon, Kentucky, the caring place, okay? So there'll be three groups going to that. We'll have students that will also be going to the uh, Idle Hour Park, so you'll be helping to repair the playground, the kids' playground, and also move some rubble. So that is what you're going to be doing. Fun stuff, isn't it? It's going to be awesome. We'll have some students that will be going to the Sansbury uh, Care Center, which is right down here, and it's basically a walk uh, to there. So you'll be hanging out with the sisters, you're going to have coffee with them, and chat with them, and hang out with them. So if you are a good storyteller, get, uh, or would like to listen, then I would encourage you to listen, because the sisters have many stories, and they're very, very wise. I would encourage you to do that. And then we will send some students to the Hope Center in Springfield, and there you'll be helping uh, women uh, and their fundraising efforts to support women who uh, need assistance doing, like with uh, help, helping them with childbirth, those kind of things, and being a mother as well. So women that may not has, have, have as much privilege or opportunity to be able to have the funds to take care of a child. That's what you're going to be helping with today, all right? So those projects are very awesome. We talk about the four pillars. And this is one of the most critical ones for us, is service and community, okay? Just remember where you are, all right? Just remember the fact that you have an opportunity. Uh, I really liked the, uh, you know, the chance that I had when I spoke to Shelby, and just yesterday when she told me about the older people, she said, it's kind of sad that someday we're gonna get old, right? And hopefully we would have somebody taking care of us, right? But she felt like she is taking that calling. And I don't even know if she, actually she's 18 now, but how many 18 years old get it? This is your chance to get it, right? And I really appreciate that. Because somebody gets it. She says, somebody, you know, I just see this patient, the, 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 the residents, and somebody leaves them there, and they don't have visitors for months, maybe years. And you might be the first visitor they get to see for such a long time. How cool is that? All right? And you, some of you will be helping people you don't even get to see. And sometimes it's not about, it's not about the act, it's not about visually what I can get out of it. 
It's not about that. It's about what can I give back, all right? So this is your opportunity to do that, okay? Uh, the rewards, I believe, I've been told, your rewards are not here. They're not in this place. The reward, the treasure that you're seeking is not in this place. It's for a higher place. And I hope that you remember that, okay? So when you're out there, just remember that you're not serving yourself, you're serving your community. You're serving somebody who really needs your help. I'm here now with Bree Wright, who is one of the PEP leaders here for St. Catherine College. We're actually at Springfield a Nursing and Rehabilitation Center. Behind us, you can hear the uh, people from the nursing home as well as the students playing bingo, right? Yep. We've been here for a little bit and we've been playing um, parachute ball with them, like which is exercise where they use a parachute and they have to hit a ball around. And then we just started playing bingo and the kids and the um, nursing home residents are having a great time. Now you are actually a senior at St. Catharines, right? Yes, I am. Have you been there all four years? Yes, I have, and um, I've loved every single year of it, and I love all of my teachers. Um, I'm actually a double major, and I graduate May of 16. I'm a criminal justice and English major, and I just applied for grad school at UofL, so a lot of good things hopefully coming my way. So what's your ultimate goal to do? Um, I'd love to get my doctorate of both criminal justice and English, and I want to be an author and do something with like fish and wildlife or something with the criminal justice field. So you've learned a lot at St. Catharines that's gotten you ready for it. Oh yeah, with all the teachers here, with all the great experiences that I've been able to do, um, all the academics and uh, clubs, everything, it just prepares you for life. It's a great college and I'm so glad I was able to go here. Now, as we said, she's a senior, so she's a PEP leader. Tell us what a PEP leader is. A PEP Days leader is someone who applies for the position and teaches Chikuni, our dean of students. He um, selects a few people who basically lead the groups of freshmen who are in their PAT 101 classes. They um, learn about the school, the heritage of the school. We, we actually took a um, hike to Cartwright Creek yesterday and got to see the original um, place of the mother house. Um, we have learned a lot about the sisters. There's actually a group of students with the sisters right now at Sainsbury. It's just uh, we get to lead the freshmen in the right path to their success. Fantastic. And this is one of the groups that has gone out. And they're again, they're at the Springfield Nursing and Rehabilitation Center. How many students do you have here? We have 11 students here with me. So. And where are they coming from? Have you gotten a chance to ask them where they're coming from? Mostly? Um, we have some students from um, right here in Kentucky. They're a few hours away. Um, I have a student that is from Ohio, which is six hours away. So she has a really far drive. Um, I have students from Texas. Um, I've heard some students from like Michigan and other places. I mean, they come from everywhere. And it's amazing how a little small town in Kentucky can find all these places, especially out of country. Now, this is your second year being a Pep Days leader, correct? Yes, it is. And you enjoy it? Oh, I love it. I love every minute of it. Meeting new students, being able to make a good influence and be that type of person that they can look up to. Fantastic. And what are the students' responses being? They're positive. Um, my group is very talkative. They love hanging out with each other, and I hope they like me. So. <laughs> good. Very good. Well, thank you very much. Going to talk with Bree Wright, who's a senior at St. Catherine College. Hi, my name is Stacy Chappelle. I'm the residence hall coordinator at St. Catherine College, and this is Shaylin Waller. She's a residential student at St. Catherine College. Today, we are at the House of Hope. Uh, where we have been doing a service project this morning. Shaylin, you want to tell them a little bit about what you've been doing? Um, well, first we started off cleaning the windows, and then we went into the rooms and dusted them. We cleaned the carpets, vacuumed, cleaned up the basement. Um, we just cleaned up, basically. That's all we really done. So yeah, basically to kind of just wrap up what she said, um, we have about 13 students that are currently here working on different projects. Some have been vacuuming, some have been helping with um, the basement, moving, shifting things around. We've been cleaning up a lot of the um, different supplies that they have here, as well as straightening bookshelves, moving things around and just trying to get things in order from the, in order for them. Hi, I'm Gary White for Central Kentucky Television. I'm here with another one of the teams that's taken part with the St. Catherine College Day of Service. I'm here with Coy Lindsay. You're going to be a freshman at St. Catherine, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, we are out at Idle Hour Park here in Springfield. What have you been doing? Uh, we've been working on the entrance here. Uh, there's some boards that had that were rotting, and we've been replacing them. Okay. How many guys do you have out here doing this? Uh, I think we have six. 
Okay, so there are six guys out here doing this. It's one of the areas they could have gone to work. It's a nice day, at least it's not raining, right? Thank God. Yes. <laughs> That's some hard work, huh? It's, it's not too bad, you know, it, it really helps with the entrance, so it's going to make it look a lot better. Great. Now, you said that you guys, or a lot of you, are from teams at St. Catherine, right? Yeah, uh, we have baseball teams and a couple wrestlers out here, but we're from green. We're from the green team and he's from the purple team, so we're all kind of mixing together, working together, so it's nice. Okay. Now, where are you from? I'm from Hodgeville, about an hour from here. Okay. And what made you decide to come to St. Catherine? Uh, baseball. They gave me some money for play baseball here, so coaches are really cool, so I decided this would be a good place for me. Great, so hopefully you'll be out here playing some baseball at Delaware Park eventually, right? I hope so, yes sir. Great, thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, this is Javon McNary, and I'm with St. Catherine College, and we've got the red team here today at Sansbury Care Center, and I'm with? Melissa Sparrow. Okay, and we have our, our freshman class come in this week, and we have them out here um, going over a, a lot of different things and uh, talking to a lot of different people, and one of the things we decided to do uh, was to bring them out to Sansbury Care Center, and they're going to be working with you today, Melissa. They are. We're going to be having coffee and donuts with the residents here outside on the patio and I think the residents will look forward to enjoying yes. having the students around with us. Yes. Well you know the students always have a lot of questions so I'm sure that they're going to have a, you know, a lot of uh, conversations going on today with uh, the patients here. They will. They like to reminisce also about their past mm -hmm. and what you know they like to find out what the students are going to school for mm -hmm. So it'll be interesting. Yeah. Well, I hear there are a lot of teachers out here, too. There so, is. Yes, indeed. So maybe they can give some of our students some tips. Right. Know, right. They will. <laughs> well, listen, thanks for talking to us. Thank you.